The government of Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador has stepped up extraditions of suspected drug cartel leaders to the United States, official data show, as Washington presses for increased bilateral cooperation on security. Last year, Mexico's government extradited 58 people wanted in the United States, according to figures from the Attorney General's office seen by Reuters. By February 21, Mexico had already sent 30 people across the border in 2020, the figures showed. The Mexican government did not immediately reply to a request for comment on the extradition's data. The latest extraditee was Ramon Villarreal, a.k.a. El Mon, a senior figure in the Beltran Leva cartel, who was flown out at the weekend to be tried in Texas for the murder of a lawyer of incarcerated former Gulf cartel boss Osiel Cardenas. Based in northwest Mexico, the Beltran Leva cartel was once allied to the Sinaloa cartel of Kingpin Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, now in a U.S. prison. The two gangs later became bitter enemies. U.S. President Donald Trump has pushed Mexico to increase cooperation in the fight against drug gangs, especially since the massacre of nine U.S. Mexican women and children in northern Mexico by suspected cartel hitmen last November. Early this year, Mexico drafted a judicial reform including measures that would have made it harder for lawyers to delay extraditions of clients to the United States. That draft bill met with heavy criticism from the opposition and civil society groups, and a far less radical reform proposal was ultimately put forward. In 2017, Mexico extradited 57 people to the United States and 69 the following year, official data show.